Hello musicians, today I will be teaching you how to properly clean, maintain, and further the life of your saxophone. First off, it is important to know and be familiar with the parts of the saxophone that we will be cleaning, which include the body, the mouthpiece, the neck. The first piece of the saxophone that we will be cleaning is the mouthpiece. As you see, calcium deposits build up. And this is normal for any saxophone musician. And it can affect your health if you do not clean it. This is about after one week of playing, and it's quite gross. So I will be cleaning it. So we just finished washing this mouthpiece, and we washed it with cold water, not hot water, because hot water can distort the color of the outside of the mouthpiece, while also breaking down the mouthpiece and possibly warping it, which can lead to sound problems that will be audible. We can pull this cloth through the center of the mouthpiece. And now the interior and exterior are clean. Using soap on a mouthpiece can actually break down the protective coating that was made by the manufacturer, and your mouthpiece will not last as long, and the tone will be distorted. The next part of the saxophone that we will be cleaning is the saxophone neck. First, what we must do is locate the screw that is located on the side of the neck. Carefully with a screwdriver, we will remove this. Once this mechanism is removed, we are ready to clean the neck. However, be careful not to lose the mechanism and the rod that were located and ensuring that this would stay together. Now that the neck has been rinsed through warm water and is clean in the interior, we will put the neck back together and we will ensure that the neck is in proper condition for operation. To reassemble the neck, slide the tenon through the slinging mechanism, align the spring with the spring receiver, and apply light pressure so that way the hole may line up so we can insert the rod. Hold the neck in a stable position and use your microfiber cloth to clean the outside. And that is how the saxophone neck is to be cleaned. Now we will begin cleaning the body of the saxophone. We will need a cotton tip Q-tip, rubbing alcohol, and a microfiber cloth. So the next thing that we will do is we will take our Q-tip and we will wet the tip in alcohol. The upper region in particular is something that we must clean as is where the most of the condensation will develop. The last thing that we will do for our saxophone is polish the exterior of the instrument. Acidic sweat uh, excretes from our fingertips and wherever we touch the saxophone. So fingerprints and uh, condensation that is built up will be on the exterior of the saxophone and lacquer can tend to peel off from the saxophone uh, and to keep the resale value of the instrument and make sure that the instrument lasts for a long time, what we should do is polish it. If we do not polish the saxophone, this is what will happen. Lacquer has peeled off from the instrument, and this could eventually be the entire instrument at one point, and it probably will be, but to ensure the life of the instrument and the resale value, what we should do is polish the instrument regularly, at least once a week, if not once every two weeks. We will polish the exterior of the bell, because that is also what the audience is going to see. 
want to clean the keys from the pinky spatula. Make sure that we clean the bow portion in between as dust tends to accumulate in here the most. Especially by the thumb hook, we want to clean in this area as our thumb will rest here most often. Any part of the saxophone that doesn't have a pearl contact point, you're going to want to polish. So basically everything that is brass and large is what you want to polish. Since we already took out all the other uh, gunk that was trapped in the nooks and crannies, just cleaning the fingerprints off and making sure that the saxophone is properly polished is the final step in maintaining your saxophone and keeping it clean. It's also making the horn more hygienic and able to play for a long time. Make sure to clean the palm keys. Now that we are done polishing, we will put our saxophone away in its case for further use.